All right. So essentially where we're at is we just got done putting the fiberglass on there and then we sealed it up with plenty of silicone. Boy, I'll tell you, doesn't that look friggin' ugly? Let me show you another thing I don't like. Well, gee golly williger, you can see all my stuff in there. I got like a tarp and a chair and like a pair of boots and a baseball glove. <laughs> oh, gee golly willigers. Well, I'll tell you what, that's not going to stand. We're going to let this dry and then we're going to come back and we're going to apply a little black paint to this son of a bitch. That's right. The whole thing, we're just going to paint with matte black paint. We just got this stuff flying around. It's gonna be good. Here's what's next. We gotta isolate this area so we can go ahead and just spray it down with some paint. So, use a tarp. Maybe some cardboard. Paper bag or tissue. And painter's tape. with a couple of cans of black spray paint. And that's gonna look pretty good, I guarantee it. Now let's get in there and do a little time lapse, okay? I wanted to go through all the different processes of the items that I displayed. Now, as you can see, I got a bag right here. I got a box, a box, some tissue paper. And then I'll be honest, when I busted out this tarp, I just kind of felt like a dum-dum. I'm like, I should have just did that to start with. Regardless, I think this is gonna work out pretty well right now. We're ready to go with the paint. Make sure to shake well. Game on. All right, so that didn't do very well. So here's what we did. We were sweating so much. We went inside, we did a wardrobe change. We rummaged around, found some new cans of black paint and some primer. So since most other things, you gotta prime them before you paint it black. I'm not a painter. We're gonna go ahead and prime it first. And then we're gonna go ahead and knock it up with some of this high heat black. Yeah, if it's good enough for your grill, it's probably good enough for this thing while it's grilling me to death outside. Hey, if you don't have AC, get that shit fixed. That sucks. What are we, animals? Yeah, we are. All right, let's get to it. Well, golly gee, would you look at that? Nice coat of black on there. It's like a brand new window. Hey, right, what's going on in there? Well, I can't see so good. Is Bill Shakespeare writing in there? Probably not, but I'll tell you what. You don't know what's going on in there now. And that's exactly what we wanted. Tommy likey. Tommy want wingy. <laughs> Here you go. There it is. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Do the big reveal so we can see if it looks like a brand new car. Well, in there now, there you have a look right there. I'll tell you. Let me get you up in there. You can't see nothing through there. I mean, I think I paid $15, $20 for the fiberglass. I mean, 
bought myself a tube of caulk for, for about a buck, some paintful silicon, and I just had this black paint lying around, I'll tell you. Yep. Yeah. So, there you go right there, I'll tell you what. That's how you replace your window with fiberglass for under $30. Ha ha ha. Would you rather spend $30 and do it yourself? We'll pay $300 to have it professionally done and have it look really nice. Yeah, it's up to you. I don't know what your financial situation is, but I know what mine is, and I'll tell you what. I'm happy with this. This right here is beautiful. Yep, it's already kind of dry, and I'm pretty friggin' happy with it. Well, Bear Swiftly signing off. Sayonara, all you samurai.